<laughs> hey, well, boy, howdy, boys and girls, men and women of all ages and walks of life. Welcome once again to the building side of the garage at Randy's Guitar Shop. Thanks, Robert. Anyways, guys, I wanted to show you this new progress on this guitar, but before I do that, you will see that that Telecaster is not here anymore. My friend Dave, that I was kind of helping him with that guitar, uh, came over the other day and we messed around with it a little bit, and then we just he decided to take it home and finish it himself. And he did a great job, and he says it plays wonderfully and it looks great. So that's all fine and good. I hope you're having a wonderful and a blessed day today. Thanks a lot for watching my videos. By the way, if you do enjoy my videos, uh, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if I deserve it. <laughs> and uh, share the videos with your friends and leave comments, please. Anyways, guys, we're going to look at this guitar. You've seen a few pictures of it before, but it's kind of never been in this state yet. So I've just started working on this again after all the work I was doing on the other one. So anyways, guys... Uh, that's kind of what's going on over here. That is number 21 for your listening and dining pleasure, of course. So what I'm going to do in a minute here is take you out of your cradle and do some of my fabulous cinematography for you and bring you over real closely. You can see just how heavy this flake job is. This is uh, just heavy, heavy metal flake. Anyways, guys, it's rose gold on the bottom going up into silver. And the rose gold and the sear will both have a, a different colors of flake. Not a lot. This has got a little bit of blue flake in it. This one's got a little tiny bit of pink and red. Uh, it's not super apparent unless you're looking really close. So I've just got it kind of fake assembled, stuck together. And this is also the one that the great Steve Spaulding routed me out another pickup uh, slot here. This came with two humbuckers. Uh, these are aftermarket uh, humbuckers from Pinion. They are four wire humbuckers. They really sound great. I have these in my uh, thin line Telecaster. I have Godot uh, locking, uh, vintage style tuners up on the top with uh, pearloid inlays. So without any further ado, let me do some of my cinematography over here and I'll come and take and show it to you and you can see how heavy this stuff is. Just a minute. Yep, she's got a lot of flick. Got to get just in the right light. Let's go up the neck. Let's take a look at that headstock, the way I've got it laid out. This is a really uh, pretty darn nice neck. I've got to get some of the, uh, you know, this crud off of it from when I was had it taped off and stuff. But uh, and as, if you can remember, what I did on this is just is uh, cut way deeper right here and right he here more than a standard PRS. I just did it for the fun of it to make it a little different. Since it's a kit, it's not a big deal. Now let's take you back over to your cradle. I know you don't like being out of your cradle. Let's land you here. Anyways, guys, that's kind of what I got for you this week. Probably starting a week after next. I won't be around for a while. And that's gonna be good because I think I'm gonna be able to take this back apart and uh, refinish it with more clear. It needs a lot more clear. It's still, it's starting to get smooth, but it's not smooth yet. So, uh, not sadly, but be, we have to take it back apart and do some more on it. So that'll be fun, that'll be in the future. So like I said, I won't be making videos for a couple of weeks because uh, we've got things we've gotta get done. You know, there's always projects going on. Anyways, guys, once again, I love you for watching my videos. Thanks so much. Thanks for leaving comments. And, you know, I've got a couple more subscribers. And uh, it's uh, been going pretty good as far as the channel. And I hate to, uh, you know, not be able to do stuff with it every once in a while. But that's kind of the way life goes for all of us. Not, not just me. Anyways, guys.
that's about it for this video. Just to kind of keep you in the loop and let you know I'm still working on stuff, not just goofing around. So, with that being said, I will see you guys, and let's not forget to pray for our country, no matter what country it is. Let's pray for the world. As you know, if you even watch any news, no matter where it comes from, the world is in a lot of upheaval. There's just a lot of crazy stuff going on. Let's pray for our friends, our family members, and our loved ones that need medical attention. Let's get that taken care of. Our thoughts and our prayers need to go to the Father. So anyways, guys, I will see you later in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.